Okay, y'all. So a couple days ago, we got here to Illinois to hunt at Land of Lincoln Outfitters. We've hunted here for the past three years. I've gotten a deer the past two years, and Jonathan has yet to get one. So this year, we have really high hopes. He's got a big deer on camera he's hunting. I know there's big deer all around here. I don't really have one specific one, but we are just so excited to be in camp, hanging out with our buddies that we only see once a year, and hopefully we can get some big deer. So stay tuned. so good it's not quite as windy as it was yesterday it's still a little windy tomorrow is going to be even less windy and colder so if we don't get it done today i have like way high hopes for tomorrow but if we see the deer we saw this morning and he's a little closer and can maybe hear our doe bleats and our attempts to get his attention there's hope Uh, 
I'm married to a stud. So we've been having a good old time sitting here, kind of mock scoring them because we don't. We had a tape measure, but we we're gonna do it again with a string. Scoring antlers, there's like a whole system you do according to Boone and Crockett, and so there's mass measurements, there's the beam measurement, there's the width, there's all kinds of stuff. Forty three inches of mass, though. That's the craziest. That's thing. nuts. A seven inch base on a typical nine point. It's like you have the perfect examples of like your dream typical and your dream non typical. Like they're completely. Different. If you were to split here, oh, if it was that mainframe ten, yeah, no, 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 no. 170 inch mainframe ten, no doubt. Get them both. Well, we're celebrating now. We're gonna go have some snacks, and then we're gonna take pictures in the morning. I'm gonna sleep in with Jonathan. Just take it, you know, just two. And then I'm gonna hunt tomorrow evening because I've only been here one day and I have not tagged out yet. So I'll see y'all then. Okay, breakdown. So basically I'm like the only person that hasn't killed a big deer now because Matt did this morning, Jonathan did yesterday, Chase did yesterday, Zach did yesterday, like everybody's killing. It's like the best time of year I feel like. The bucks are fighting each other, they're chasing all the does, they're not locked down yet. So I think I think we have a pretty good shot. I'm excited. Go get it done. Did you feel good? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know where I aimed. I don't know what I did. I don't know. We, 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 need, <laughs> we need to go look at the arrow before it gets dark. And so, yeah, but I mean, he death kicked. 
He went very slow. Was his tail tucked? Yeah. Tail tucked? He death kicked. That was the big thing. Yeah. He did the exact, it's the same thing on last year. The exact same shot. Literally, I heard him go in the woods and then nothing more. I feel like we need to give him time. But That deer's dead. That deer, if, if he had stayed in the field, he'd be dead 100 yards. <sighs> Okay, what's the update? Oh my gosh, it's been a stressful day and I didn't even, oh my gosh. So last night, you know, I shot the deer, found such good blood, but the problem was, um, which we had already talked to like the farmer that owned the land he went on to before, but we had to get permission before we went and looked for him. In Illinois, you have to ask permission before you just go traipsing for deer. Some states have like laws where if you kill a deer, you can go look for it, but that's not how it is in Illinois. Trying to wait for, per, for permission, and it took a while, and so we just left it because A, we weren't sure if he was just right there or not, and then B, you know, with a bow kill, unless you're like seeing him down and dead, sometimes it's best to like wait a minute because you don't want to push them and make them keep moving. Um, so we went and had dinner, and then we got permission, and then we decided, hey, well, we'll just wait till the morning. It's cold, like he's not gonna spoil. And then we went this morning and we tracked him like, I don't know, 75, 100 yards and had like such good blood. But then the blood started tapering off a little bit and we decided since it wasn't our land, we didn't wanna risk pushing him if that was even a possibility. And so we called a dog. The dog couldn't get here until later today. And then the dog found him like that, so. We're gonna get to go see him. I'm so excited. Let me go grab my other jacket really fast. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go see him. We got him, baby. We got him. I cannot believe we found him. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> A fair. Full. I was glad we got him. Yep. We had a hundred thousand thorns in this movie. <laughs> <then. laughs> yes. Probably. Right. I think you know what he, he reminds me of like a bigger version of my first archery buck in Tennessee. Like just like yes. a like a really good ten. Yep. That's awesome. He's awesome. That's awesome. He looked we mean Matt were talking about it. We're like, he looked real good running in. <laughs> like, that was I would have done it all over again. Eight hundred yards, me and Matt were like shooter. He stinked real good. Yeah, hold, hold him up. Oh, I, I'm, I'm trying to, but I can't. Hey, look at, I wonder what his spread is. Cause he comes so back, like far in. Like his spread is probably at least, would you say 19? Well, y'all, we had to end at Huck's, get a little pizza for the road, because we've eaten here like literally every day. The amount of chicken tenders I've consumed. It's just been so good, such a good time here in Illinois at Land of Lincoln Outfitters. I cannot believe both Jonathan and I both tagged out. Jonathan easily could have gotten a buck while I was not here. He hunted a whole week before I even got here, and I'm just so thankful that I was here for his biggest buck ever, and then he got to hunt with me for my buck, and it didn't take me 12 days this year like it did last year, so thankful for that. But I would love to open up a discussion about hunting for those of y'all who may not have grown up the way I did and don't necessarily understand it. Please leave your questions below. Let me know what you wanna see in future videos about hunting. Really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Ready? Yep. Now you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs>